Salt and its different uses has driven civilization for centuries and it's even been used to pay wages. Today, there are around 14,000 different ways we use salt, so there's clearly lots we love about it. We all know too much salt isn't good for you, but that's when you eat it. When it's not going into your mouth, there are so many other ways where it can be beneficial to your health. Salt is a common condiment, but only 6% of all the salt that is manufactured is used in food. The other 94% of salt that we make is used in everything from paper to household soaps. And we are also rediscovering salt as an environmentally friendly alternative to disinfectants, mothballs, and even toothpaste. Economical, powerful, and readily available, salt is also an effective way to keep skin healthy. Has salt always been used in therapy, and how far back? Salt has always been known as a powerful um, health remedy, going back to ancient times already, especially for respiratory health and detoxification. How can you use salt at home? You could use it in brightening the nails, the facial, body scrub as well. Various options, cleaning the house as well. <laughs> Anil, thank you, that was great. Sawarika. When salt is used as a scrub, it cleanses pores and removes dead skin cells, which promotes skin renewal and helps reveal healthier skin. To help dry skin, add salt to your bath water as the salt hydrates the skin by drawing moisture into it. A salty solution can also ease an itchy mosquito bite, painful bee sting or be a disinfecting throat goggle. Sprinkling salt into your shoes keeps nasty smells at bay. There's nothing quite like a spa treatment to pique the appetite, and I think it's time now to satisfy my taste buds. The most familiar use of salt is in the kitchen and on the dinner table. The right amount of salt brings out the flavor of meat and vegetables, deepens the flavor of desserts, and develops the flavor of melons and certain other fruits. But knowing how much to use to enhance all of these flavors can be difficult. Too little, and the food might be bland too much and you could ruin the flavors as well as be putting your health at risk. Shane, this looks amazing. What have you done here? To take the guessing work out of seasoning food, we have created a salt a tablet. So everything on there is unseasoned. All the seasoning comes from the bottom. So as a guest, you can just enjoy the meal by yourself without seasoning it at all. The salt base is a fantastic idea to flavor the food. What is it made of? Salt tablet is made of salt and molasses. We added a bit of citrus in there just to bring out the uh, citrus notes. And then we basically heat it and bake it till it gets really hot. And then we use it as a tablet to season the dish. We should limit the amount of salt we eat to one teaspoon a day. Serving food on a salt tablet is a great way to enhance the natural flavors of food without having to add any extra salt. Now why as South Africans do we tend to oversalt our food? We just need to educate our palates a bit more and because it could be an imbalance of electrolytes in your body. Shane, could you give us some tips to reduce our salt intake in food? I basically say look at the foods you are eating. A lot of um, food actually has natural salt or even use things like lemon to actually heighten flavor because salt has the tendency to heighten certain flavors. So just introducing other kinds of basically flavor profiles to enhance food really. I feel fantastic. Salt used responsibly inside and out can still bring that glow to your face and put that spring in your step as long as you think before you shake. Save your salt for your skin and use less in the kitchen. Cutting back on dietary salt is one of the best ways to reduce your chances of developing high blood pressure and it goes a long way in helping you live your best life.